Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 25th of July 2017. Okay, uh, in terms of European markets this morning, certainly a stellar advance, uh, stellar advance led by um, several reasons, we'll certainly go into them now. Let's look at our stats first of all, Asian markets down overnight, so again a risk off session there with the Shanghai negative, Nikkei negative again. European session, FTSE up stellar, almost a one percentage point. The DAX up, uh, up almost uh, 82 points. The French CAC certainly higher as well by 61 points. The FTSE MIB certainly all up across the board. Auto sector concerns certainly seem to be uh, being negated and certainly forgotten thus far. Okay, uh, although we do have uh, the Euro USD spiking above the 1.17 zone, so again that is a cause for concern. So keep an eye on that. Okay, we also have the Trump investigation uh, ongoing as well. Trump has just called the Europeans protectionist, okay. Uh, also, Saramucci says Trump probably wants sessions out as Attorney General. Trump is completely out of control. Scary, okay. So, again, when they're attempting to uh, describe Mr. Trump as being out of control, it's not exactly good for equities. But, yeah, equities continue to move higher, which is very strange, okay. Very strange to say the least, okay. So, in terms of economic data this morning, We've had stronger um, German IFO data forecasting strength going forward. Therefore, that's helped the uh, German index certainly stay afloat. Uh, import prices certainly on the weaker side as well out of Germany. So, again, supports the uh, ECB's QE program. Uh, French data certainly came in stronger than expected. Business climate index certainly coming in stronger. Italian industrial sales and orders both coming in stronger. Uh, UK CBI data certainly came in on the stronger side overall. Okay. Uh, well, it certainly was interpreted as being bullish, nevertheless, okay. Now, we are looking forward to Red Book uh, data. We are looking forward to S&P, uh, Case Shiller data. We have Richmond Fed. Now, out of the Red Book, the Red Book itself came in more or less in line. Uh, S&P, Case Shiller, Home Price Index came in slightly weaker. Uh, Richmond Fed uh, data is awaited. We have Mr. Haldane's speech at 6 p.m. So, again, I think that certainly be, is being interpreted as being dovish. And therefore, with the euro, well, sorry, the euro, the uh, GBP above that 1.30 zone, it certainly is being interpreted as being dovish, uh, and therefore, FTSE 100 certainly seems to be rising now. Copper certainly is stronger today, and also oil certainly remains strong post the uh, uh, Saudi uh, attempt at uh, potentially curbing uh, the uh, oil output as well going forward, especially including Nigeria on board. Okay, so we are looking forward to the. Um, Kiwi data uh, later in the evening and we also have Mr. Assistant uh, Governor McDermott speaking as well so again watch out for the Kiwi for those of you that trade the Kiwi uh, at 9.30pm watch out for the weekly crude oil stock uh, supply data as well certainly expect volatility there okay so that's the status quo overall uh, summation really stronger German IFO, IFO data weaker inflation data certainly has helped the uh, German DAX rally I add in the fact that it was certainly severely oversold and therefore a short squeeze certainly was warranted. Let's look at the German DAX now on the daily chart. Okay, certainly looking on the daily chart, the German DAX here. So certainly looking for an oversold bounce and that's exactly what we expected. Bear in mind we still have that gap at 12.050 that needs to be closed. Okay, 60 minute chart certainly has bounced off uh, previous resistance equal support really uh, a weak support zone. Now you are looking for resistance here at 12.320. So certainly coming into resistance on the German DAX here, okay. 10 minute chart, again, certainly seems to have pushed higher. Uh, but the move higher certainly isn't one of a, a normal a German DAX rally type nature. I mean, it certainly seems to be subdued from my perspective. Uh, certainly isn't one that's very convincing to say the least, okay. So again, I'll watch out, okay. So certainly no uh, gap higher either, so no real conviction there. Especially given the fact that the euro now is at one point, well, certainly I just broke past the 1.17 zone. Certainly doesn't bode well for German exports going forward. So that's certainly something to keep an eye out for. Okay, the French CAC at the moment certainly seems to have uh, struggling now. 10 minute chart certainly seems to be exhausted. You are looking for a potential reversal. Okay, so watch out below on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart, you are into that fib uh, 61%. You're approaching that 200 MA. Okay, so certainly an impressive bounce to say the least. Okay. The daily chart still remains an inside bar, so just bear that in mind. It's still consolidating within that red candle. In terms of the euro stocks, uh, okay, so again, inside bar again, bounce of gap fill, which is more or less expected. Okay, given the fact that euro now is currently high, uh, again, you are looking for risk off. Okay, so 1.17 on the euro certainly indicates risk aversion, so bear that in mind. Okay, 10 minute chart as well certainly seems to be. Um, 
exhausted now no higher highs looking for a double top and now looking for a potential reversal so keep an eye on that any reversal looking at support round down to 3460 so okay so uh, that's the status quo for european indices let's look at the FTSE 100 itself FTSE 100 weekly chart again showing weakness here now a uh, daily chart is an inside bar over body at the moment it's 37453 so looking for inside bark uh, obviously trade and therefore that's is considered to be negative unless mr boe certainly surprises us all if mr haldane certainly comes out to be uh, more than dovish and uh, sends the uh, sterling lower then you are looking at uh, the FTSE certainly gaining ground as well so bear that in mind stronger earnings from the us certainly see, you certainly seem to be uh, triggering a short squeeze so that's certainly something to consider 60 minute chart now into the fib 61 percent 75 percent resistance so watch out there okay so again certainly something to consider so looking at fib 61 percent okay okay so looking for that fib 61 percent resistance on the uh 60 minute chart looking at the 10 minute chart at the moment you are looking at gap fill resistance so looking for gap fill to certainly hold here on the FTSE and therefore looking to potentially reverse okay so that's the status quo okay that's the status quo on the FTSE certainly looking for resistance here and looking for a reversal S&P 500 certainly seems to continue to amaze us all with their potentially new high now uh, S&P certainly breaking to new highs 60 minute chart was showing resistance you were looking at a potential breakout and looking for potential gap fill at 2460 that hasn't been the case not only have you taken out 2477 after hours or, or should we say futures market which obviously is opening any minute now you're actually actually registered a new high very very impressive very very impressive to say the least okay so that's the status quo please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly uh, download the latest app goodbye now